organic material, oh, now live in the okay. population that's getting really, really high, they might start eating some young roots. And in the propagation, I use uh, Pectobac, which is a bacteria, but it takes saliva, puts the saliva so that they eat the roots. Uh, so every now and then you put in a little bit of Pectobac, which is just a brown powder, and it's just, yeah, billions of bacteria, and they attack that uh, skin, Pectobac. It might come under different, different brains. How do you spell that? How do you spell it? B E C T O B A C. And I think some people here also use, um, I think it's called the nemesis. That's a uh, little nematode that is even smaller than, way smaller than scattered flies, and they do the same thing, they just eat, eat the larvae, it's a sexual larvae. Okay. Uh, from a hygiene point of view, we probably should, but we actually have done it. We only do it when we have to clean up. Yeah. 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 But it's a good point. Uh, so. There is also different opinions about rubbers, because if you want to spray, it's a hassle, because you, you can trip over it. Uh, if you've got dead uh, organic material on the floor, if it's uh, wet, that is actually a really nice environment for uh, for your for your predator uh, control predators. If it's dry, dry rubbish, and here there's a lot of dry stuff, then it can actually be causing a problem because the trips uh, will breed in it really really well. So it's harder to kill. But from 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 an ideal point of view, everything should be clean. And some growers in Holland, if they're cutting out uh, rubbers, all the pickers, they've got a little pouch in front of them. So if they've got some rubbers, they put all the rubbers in the pouch. If they finish cutting the row, they put all the rubbers they cut out in the bin. So you do your own cutting here as yep. well? Yeah. All that and I've got d down here. I've got screen looking down with it. No. What, what is the screen? A screen. Now you can see the screen here on the top. Mm -hmm. uh, this wire is in the screen as well. And that needs to be replaced. Uh, it's got two functions. The main function is uh, energy saving. Of course, it is just like the curtains. You can close them and you keep all the heat in. So that will save you, depending on the material you put on top, it will save about uh, 50 to 70 percent energy. Uh, in early spring, when you got the first, it's always like uh, the middle of August, somebody turns the switch because you get uh, dark, miserable days, and then you start suddenly, like somebody turns the switch, you get a really bright, bright day. And the plants are not really up to that yet because they not used to the bright light, so they will. So then you put them across for about 60% and it just keeps the sun off them. Yeah, now cut it at the moment around about 20 degrees on average. 16, 16 hours at night and a little bit warmer during the day. What's the most damaging part of its lifetime? Another the, the leaks. Because uh, uh, if, if you don't control them, they will just you get the spiding the, the webbing on the top. Uh, but if you, if you grow a veggie crop, then you can have a little bit of damage. Uh, it's not ideal because it costs kilos. But the rose you sell it because it's going to be pretty. So if the leaves are yellow like uh, like, like that, then. So just colouring the leaves. Just colouring the leaves. Yeah. Yeah. You, can, you can feel it, that it feels a bit like rough. sandpaper, it feels rough. Mm. So just to clarify, there's two types of mites. The spider mites you don't want, but you do use predatory mites to go against the thrips. Yep. Is that yeah, correct? We don't use predator mites here at the moment. Okay. I have used them in the past, and uh, they do do a good job. But it is uh, the other diseases you have to control as well, because it's the whole. Uh, 
where it says spine might be my number one problem. Uh, if I can control that, I'm happy. But then other diseases might become a problem, like trips. Mm -hmm. And then if the trips is getting out of hand, then I have to spray something for the trips. Mm -hmm. If the pressure might not keeping up anymore. And if I have to spray some for the trips, most likely that will kill the pressure the mites for the mites as well. Mm -hmm. So do you have a problem with trips at the moment? Not no. yet. Oh, it's okay. Still early, early days. Usually, in the, 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 the uh, just around Christmas, uh, when it's getting hot, the windows are open uh, and they're hardly closed because it's just day and night that it's hot. Uh, farmers started mowing again. Uh, then those trips, they have to find a place to go. And then usually glass houses are a nice <laughs> place to go. And, and you have a spray for that? Yep. Just a chemical yeah, spray? Yeah, yeah. And it depends. Uh, usually I, I do a mixture. Uh, Mets and success. Mets is one, success is another one. Mix those together. And then usually two sprays and then it should be done. How do you actually spray? Do you actually have to start the other side? Yep. <laughs> And it's also a bit of a problem. Uh, in Holland, you should have just one big glass house. The path in the middle, 50 meters on that side of the path, 50 meters on that side of the path, and you get have just a nice compact glass house here. Left side wall. Which part of the last side? Uh, Shall we ask them that? Can look that up. We got 13 apartments, but it is about uh, 10 different glass really? houses. So you've got multiple sides, all, all the glass houses are slightly different. Uh, if you want to automate something, yeah. it's nearly impossible because every glass house is a different height. Uh, the, 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 the basis for post to post are different. Uh, whereas in, if you have one glass house towards one side, you can just get a spray rope. And in Europe, everyone with a spray rope. <laughs> At the moment, if somebody has to spray, spray this house, takes yeah, nearly two hours to do a good job. Because if you've got a robot, you go home at five o'clock, and then uh, make sure that the thing is set, and that you'll spray when everyone is gone. You don't have to do anything. And then you know that it's getting done, uh, especially in the, in the spring, you're getting busier, uh, so there's a lot more roses to pick. Uh, you always sort of uh, labor uh, that's becoming a sort of constraint. But you're busy, you haven't got time to spray. But if you don't spray, then your quality will go down and the wheels will fall off. So if you've got a robot, then yeah, it will be easy because it gets done regardless. And it's doing a better job because it doesn't miss or well, it's not the same speed. So, what would be the b biggest disease you have to cope with? Spider mite. Disease. A uh, fungi. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, and that powdery mildew was a big one, but mm -hmm. I said we have to trade for that for a long, long, long time. So, they, yeah, it manages it with. If you didn't do the management, then you would have a problem. Yeah. And then. It's uh, what does. That's a root pathogen? That's a root, root disease, yes. Yeah. And basically you would get the death of the plant if you had it. Yeah, there you can, you can sort of see it if the a rose will always die back a little bit on the point where it's picked. And if it's really, really dark, that could be an in indicator of a syndrome uh, okay. problem. And there is also a way to treat that, but it is ongoing. You don't get rid of it. Because you have to treat it with uh, uh, octave or... Uh, spot X, and then if you treat for that, then you will also get PTM back in. So then you have to put Prevacure or uh, post check in to treat that. And yeah. uh, um, when you're picking, do you clean, do they clean the equipment between, or nope. you don't have any problems with carryovers? But orchids, they uh, have to do that for, for the virus. Just in, uh, so the roses between each one, or...? For every, every plant. Every plant. Some growers got a knife for every plant, because it's less than a dollar for a knife, but okay. it is yes. by, by a few thousand knives. So what do you just... just and in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the orchids, and in the 
quarantine out, I use uh, verbal to dip the equipment in and that should sterilize everything. What is it? Verbal. B-I-R-K-L-A. And your roses are dropped. Uh, um, the are they dropped in in the cool house? Are they dropped into a fungus mix? Uh, no, no. Uh, if the roses are grown in in in, in uh, if in poor poor conditions, that there is not a lot of ventilation and it's sort of a dead climate, botrytis is pretty much everywhere. So if you're not putting any heat in your glass houses, then uh, it makes it more likely that you've got the plants, the roses, covered in, in its pores. Okay. So if those red conditions continue, then you might get some spots in your roses. Okay. It's so humid and uh, you'd tend to see the tropical plants. Yeah, that's now just for a bit of sun. But uh, we, uh, we try to keep an, an humidity from about 80-82%. And it doesn't always work. Uh, we can see the glass is still nice and, and wet. Mm. It's actually not too much ventilation on at the moment, so it must be not warm enough. During the not day it can be up enough. to 24 in here. And if the sun is really coming out, then of course it will get hotter than, than that. But the rose doesn't like it if it's hotter than 26 degrees. <coughs> if it's hotter than 26, the plant actually uses more energy than it generates. So you have to avoid it. So one is the screen, and if it's getting hotter, in some glass houses we already start putting the white paint on the roof, and it just uh, keeps the, the sun out. Mm. Or light is not a problem, so the temperature what comes with it is a problem. Are you picking the roses 12 months all year round? Yeah. Okay. So the plants are evergreen all year round? Yes. Yep. Uh, and in uh, winter, do you heat? Do you have like gas or diesel or something to? Uh, behind you can see the boiler house, and here behind, right behind is the. Uh, we will have a look at it. Is that an? That's something you want to see as well. That boiler, the boiler plant. Because so it's people getting a bit warm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's <laughs> try again.